Hello and welcome everyone to our very special episode of Empowered Filipino. Magandang umaga to all of our viewers who have joined us here on our Facebook page as well as on Kumu. My name is Yona Lucy Casigno and I'm the founder of EVS Academy and Kaya Services. This show was created for our viewers who are seeking inspiration to do better and be better. What we at Powered Virtual Services are hoping to do with our shows is to provide a hope for a brighter future, no matter what challenge we may be facing, as well as motivation to encourage action towards whatever goal or dream we have set for our own bright future and connection to real people and their stories as a way to remind each and every one of us that when we combine hope and motivation, that that we will be able to do exceptional things in our lives with our families, with our community, which will create a ripple effect to make a change both locally and globally. Now we as Filipinos, wherever we are in the world, are able to find opportunities that make us stand out at any field we are in, in whatever circumstance we have. The guests who will be joining me on Empowered Filipino are exceptional personalities that demonstrate their behavior accordingly. Now, it may be through their advocacy or through their challenges and adversities, they overcome perhaps wins um, through their business during the trying times. And of course, by my definition, are successful and inspiring Filipinos because they want to inspire and empower others. So for this episode, we have two special guests who will join us in a bit. And they are truly dear to me and who have made their life-changing decisions and experiences that make them who they are right now. One of them is a former beauty queen, a producer, hosts of many shows, a speaker, just to name a few. She is just so exceptionally talented and beautiful inside and out. My other special guest is a brilliant, talented writer, photographer, and a host of his of his own podcast show, The Brilla Project. And he is also a queer to a, to a brood of um, siblings. Now to know more about these exceptional life changes and how they are able to stand up amidst adversity and become successful empowered Filipinos, let us all welcome the beautiful Martha Yunan Belasco and the talented Nico Belasco. Hello, Yona. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me on Empowered Filipino. How are you both? We are good. I can speak for myself. <laughs> um, great, Yona. I really feel honored on um, being part of your um, passion project. Not even a project. It is your um, livelihood that you created for others, and it just aligns with everything that I love to do in, you know, in this journey of life of ours and, you know, being an empowered Filipino in your show is, uh, you know, it really validates everything that <laughs> I want to achieve more. Mm -hmm. and what about, how are you, Nico? I'm doing good. I'm extremely honored to be on this show. I've watched a couple of episodes and I'm super happy to be joined by um, <laughs> both of you today. So thank you. Oh, well, I'm super happy that you both have said yes um, to join us here. Um, you know, I, for me, it is an honor to have you both, um, you know, I guess for everybody who doesn't know, I have known Marfe for um, you know a long time, and we've known each other since grade school. So this is the thing um, that I know that we both hold um, dear to our hearts in terms of how we want to empower others. And Nico, I have seen since he was little, and I've seen the um, the man he's become, and I know that his advocacy and really um, trying to help others along his own journey as well. So I'm super happy to. Have you both now before we get into any formalities so to speak i want to play a quick game with you both um yeah. so this one <laughs> is called guess the filipino snack delicacy okay, okay. so okay. what i'm going to do is i'm going to name just the ingredients and you'll have to guess which filipino snack or delicacy or dessert i'm describing okay you game Bang. all right okay so let's start. Um, the ingredients are glutinous rice. Now, before you jump, that that's that's an ingredient that is in a lot of Filipino desserts. Um, flour, coconut milk, 
with two or more layers of different colors placed on a banana leaf and topped with latik or coconut flakes when served. Can you guess what it is? Sticker <laughs> ice. Places. Sticker ice, ma. <laughs> no. Kalamai? No. It's like two oh. words. Sticky rice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, is it? No, my gosh, the letter S. S. Sticky rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, should I just tell you both? Oh, you guys are so funny. When, oh. when I tell you, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Okay, it is Sapin Sapin. Oh yeah, I would. I would yeah, right. <laughs> I thought Nika would also. Yeah, that was in my mind, like the color. Yeah. <laughs> but somehow it was okay. Like, oh, well, just to pin. let everybody what? know, the word sapin sapin comes from the root Tagalog word sapin, which means blanket. So this pertains to its characteristics of having many vibrant, multicolored layers of sheets, and is a sticky rice cake that originated from the northern province called. Abra and considered one of the most favorite delicacies of Filipinos. Now, clearly, we've got lots of glutinous rice in many of our desserts, and a lot of them are sticky. Hence, why Mama and Nico were, you know, a little bit. They couldn't pick which one. Which one? So. Oh my God! My dad going to be. I know. Embarrassed. I'm like, sorry. Ma, I should. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Um, I think you know there were people who was. Um, <laughs> Hey, Kimmy. Hello. Kimmy's watching. Hi. <laughs> and yes. of course, um, thank you, Yoda. TV, <laughs> Team Kaya and TBS are watching, and obviously my parents um, are rooting you, both of you on. Uh, but yes, Kimmy guests up in, up in as well. So, oh my gosh, that was fun. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I want to request for both of you to briefly introduce yourself um, to our viewers. Um, I guess we can start with uh, you, Mafe. Okay, hi everyone. Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're watching. I am Ma Fei Yunon Velasco, and I am a, a, a child of God first, a wife, and also a mother of six. And of course, in my journey of life, I have achieved um, many, I guess, goals. But I, uh, I am very empowered to continue my learning. Um, about life, as Yona mentioned earlier, I was uh, in the pageant scene, but before that, I was in love with tennis. I was an athlete first, and I feel as though that's where I really learned my, um, you know, my characteristics and my personality, wherein I was um, really set out to be challenged on knowing how to live life to the fullest knowing how to live life on my own as a survivor and also respecting others. And now I am, uh, you know, really elevating my life coaching skills. Um, my mentor is here watching. Hello, Kimmy. I appreciate you so much. And also Yona for being such a support I have had um, for a long time. And just being part of your platform uh, is just so dear to my heart because all I want to do is also influence, of course, our fellow men, the Filipinos, to achieve greater heights in their lives, uh, you know, especially right now. And um, just having children also really influences me to become a better woman, a better mom to, to everything that they want to achieve. And that is the reason why, uh, you know, I am strong with my faith. I'm always uh, practicing the attitude of gratitude and just really um, grateful for my parents and of course my handsome husband Nick who is watching thank you for always being a supportive uh, you know um, individual in my life that um, I least expected the surprise of even having him as my husband so that is me in a nutshell and i'm sure you're gonna yoda has many questions that she wants to ask so open book <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so sweet i actually got teary that but that's absolutely beautiful because i know i know how much um you know you put your heart and soul into your family 
and into your work um, and of course to the community that you're building of like-minded people so uh, thank you Rafi for that and Nico please um, introduce yourself and share with um with our viewers uh, you know who who is Nico all right so as I mentioned earlier by um Ms. Yona over here, we, I am a photographer. So I've been doing photography ever since I was about 13 years old. Wow. Uh, about seven or eight years now. And I, it's something that I've been just really enjoying. And um, it started out as a hobby and I would just bring around my camera with me, but then it turned into something more. And it, I feel like without photography, I wouldn't be where I'm at today in terms of how I carry myself and also how I am just creatively just expressing myself because I felt like it was an avenue for me to really just um, speak without having to speak and also mm -hmm. let my creativity flow in ways that I never really imagined that I could. And so photography opened the door to a lot of things for me. Um, I got to meet a whole lot of new interesting people. Um, and I also got to explore different sides of myself that I never really saw myself pursuing. And so that also led me into uh, people having interest in my work. And I had a passion also for sharing what I'm passionate about. So I started writing. I have a blog that I managed to um, where I write. And I also kind of evolved into speaking. So I did a couple of speaking engagements. And I now host my own podcast. It's um, The Brilliant Project. And you can find it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And basically, what I aim to do there is just share stories of people um, who let their light shine bright. And I hope that okay. the people that listen to my podcast can really take what they learn from all these guests that I have and apply it in their own lives because if they can do it, anyone can do it. And I believe that, you know, anyone can be an empowered person as long as you believe in yourself. Yes. Oh, I love that. My gosh, Nico, um, for a young man, you were speaking such um, wise words. And I love what you said with regards to, you know, how your creativity and being able to do, do, to do that with your photography and how you said, you know, you, you can speak or share a message without even speaking through photography and it's such a that's such uh, an important message um that, you know I, I wanted to really speak on because it really is sometimes that it's not in the words that we say but it's what the messages that we share through our actions through our work and that is absolutely important that we're always upholding you know our values in everything that we do because it really like Marfe always says, she always says, actions speak louder than, louder than words. And so I absolutely love that. I, and I, and it keep doing that, keep showing um, and, you know, showing and sharing those stories because I just think it's so important. My goodness. That was only just the first question, guys. That was <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, I'll see with you this time, Nico. Um, so what does Empower mean to you? For me, empowered means, well, like I said earlier, believing in yourself, but also trusting in your capabilities and also kind of like seeing how far it can take you and um, writing that. Like for me, you can be empowered um, starting where you're at and also um, building from where you're going to be and where you want to be. So um, it doesn't matter if you're starting out, like how, how you, it doesn't matter how you start. It's about the journey, and I believe. And um, as long as you can feel empowered and know that you are empowered, not just in yourself, but in the people around you, then you can pursue anything as long as you have the right mindset and the right way yes. of going about it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. What about you, Mafe? Well, you know, being empowered means having your community, a support system, and then uh, they empower you to be that leader. And then you're able to have that domino effect and share it with others. It's like a full circle, you know, you can't be an empowered person individually because you need others to fill in your toolkit or your tank so that yeah. you can keep sharing. So, I mean, just to keep it short, that's basically how I feel right now is that the reason why I keep learning or why I keep sharing is because I'm learning so much from someone, I need to dump it somewhere. And it's not even a negative dump. It's like, hey, guess what? I learned this, you better do it too. Because if yeah. I'm feeling high right now, then I just want to share that. Yes. You know? um, yeah. So 
that's for me, I, I feel as though just having the experience I've had, being in power, that, that word empower really is powerful. If you yeah. really understand the true definition of that word, then you know that there's so much you can do. And I think um, that's the main reason why, uh, you know, Nico and I even built a campaign called uh, Save Lives Online, because that's how you can reach the whole world. You know, especially right now, you cannot have face-to-face -face events, face-to-face -face meetings. But then, like your platform right here, we're touching so many lives. And that's how I feel like um, you're very empowered, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marfe. Um, I know um, it is all about that domino effect, right? So it's like how you and your husband, Nick, have, have created... Um, you know, your own platforms and your communities and then have then shown and demonstrated with your children how it is to empower others. And now that domino effect is starting and he has begun already through through Nico being the eldest of the six. And I just think, you know, and I know for a fact that it doesn't stop there because, you know, with the family business, everybody has a has a part to play. And I just love that you and Nick have um, really empowered your children to do that. And for you, Nico, as the eldest, you then, you know, empower your siblings, your younger siblings to be able to hone in on the on their skills and what they're really good at and then let them shine which is which is so amazing you know you guys are just such a um empowered family and i just love how you're sharing that with the world and it's you know keep doing that because it is it is through the messages that we share be it um you know a challenge or a lesson uh, or it's a positive um shiny story um at the end of the day, it still empowers others to really learn to be better and um, do better. So, oh, so good. You guys are amazing. And, you know, how are you able to determine, um, for you, Nico, how were you able to determine that you wanted to be a photographer? Did that just fall fall on your lap or what happened there? How did it go about like at such a young age? Um, well, um, I actually started kind of unconventionally. I was starting out with my with my phone and I would take pictures of things that caught my eye and that excited me and, and I found interesting. And so um, like what my mom said earlier, it's, it's all about finding people that support you and your passions. And so I would post my photos on Instagram and I remember one post got, um, got a lot of attention and one of my titos commented, he told me that uh, I should take photography classes in that summer because I have the eye. And so right. that comment kind of spiraled into this whole uh, self-realization that maybe I can do this. And it's something that I actually wanted to uh, look into. And so from that moment on, I started bringing around my parents' camera with me everywhere. I had an old Canon camera that we barely used. We would only use it on vacations or when we would go out to, on special occasions. And so I started taking that with me everywhere. Like to, uh, we would go out to the mall and I would bring it with me there. Um, and I would continue taking pictures of things that I found interesting. So that kind of spiraled into even more fascination and me um, drowning myself in all these this research on photography. And that led to me just pursuing this passion that I've had and pulled on and taken on, even if there are, there's so much, I still have so much to learn, but I feel like it's something, once you find whatever it is that you want to do and you want to pursue, um, there really is no stopping if it's your passion. Yeah, and um, you know what I found so fascinating in the work that you do is that um, you yourself you you look at ways to innovate, you know, because yeah, photography. Yes, you could have a camera and then take photos, but I know for you, you're you're even looking at and um, have found ways in order to photograph even if it's online. Like I know that was something that you know you were you were speaking about previously, and I just think that's amazing, you know, because people, I guess, um, the message in that is that um, um, the message in that is we don't have to just um, stay within the container of what we know of the traditional ways of doing things. 
Like we are able to, you know, be creative and be, um, you know, explore and, and really go out of the boundaries sometimes because sometimes that's where the magic happens, right? And I just love that, you know, and I think for you, um, you know, the beauty about um, your your um, position as well is that with your mom um, being in the fashion industry too, I know I've seen your photos. You've, you've cast such amazing fashion fashion photos as well. So, gosh, that's, you know, that's, I guess, in some ways, it's also, you know, it's a blessing too, right? Um, the position that we're in. So, and I just love that you, you maximize it, as in you make the most of it. Um, and you encourage others to, it, it shows for people that you can work with your family and that you are able to still elevate each other as families. So it's, it, I really am raving on about that because it's so important because, you know, some people will say, oh, oh sometimes it's a little bit, um, can get a bit challenging to work with family, but you know what? <laughs> the two of you or the whole, um, you know, Team Velasco, has shown that it's possible that it is actually possible to um, empower others as well as a family so um, amazing job to team Belasco and I know you know shout out to Nick as well because um, Nick has, has always been a team player from, <laughs> from the beginning since you know so we're going to have um, Nick on um, in the future but but what about for you Murphy um, I know you mentioned that you were you know you you started off playing tennis and then mm -hmm. you like from tennis like what made you decide oh you know what I'm gonna go join a pageant oh no I didn't have that thought at all yeah <laughs> I didn't have that thought. yeah exactly I think maybe that's the reason why I'm also like a go-getter or really egging my or cheer, being a cheerleader for my children is because my parents were that for me and tennis, yes, I loved um, tennis so much. And the time that the opportunity came for me to, I guess, represent a, a community or my dad's province to join Miss Philippines Australia, it was more of the sense of giving back. And I didn't really know that until I experienced it. So when that opportunity came about, it was by chance, um, you know, my uncle turned 50 and so we were all at uh, his party and I got a little dressed up and you know me, I don't get dressed up. I, I was pretty much like a, like I see my daughter now, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm exactly like her. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like she's wearing basketball shorts, just, um, that's you. Know, you. It was me and it, i'm just like sometimes you just laugh because I, I would argue with her and say come on wear your dress but i'm just like oh my gosh i sound like my mom you know <laughs> so you know fast track um you know the the titas or the aunties that were part of the organization that my dad was part and they were doing this as a volunteer work too just to also pro pro provide i guess opportunities for um you know, students and the less fortunate in their province, which is Tarlac. Uh, the Filipino Fiesta, which you know, Yona, that we have yearly that unites Filipinos in Australia, will have that event where all the booths are Filipino delicacy and then there's um, shows all day and then the main event is the pageant. So all the different provinces have um, a girl that they represent or they sponsor. And so that year when my uncle turned 50, they saw me, oh, she's tall. She, you know, is like, you know, she was, of course, I was an athlete back then. So I was, had the athlete body and they're like, oh, she'll be on next. And so my dad, being the, the strict Filipino dad, did, you know, he hardly lets me, or he did not let me wear any skirt above my knee, was forced to allow me to even wear a two-piece on stage. Imagine that. <laughs> so um, oh when I... Um, won that pageant and went to the Philippines and experienced how a sash and crown um, can speak to you know, a network that are decision makers. And for me to also experience, um, you know, handing over the check or the money that we raised for that pageant and helping the orphanage, helping the home for the elders, it really got me, you know? And that's when I knew I don't know, it was God showing me that, hey, Mafe, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to change lives this way. That's the reason why I allowed you to go to Australia to 
build your confidence, to build um, a strong core for you to face this challenge or face this opportunity. And mind you, you know, it was not easy, you know. Uh, yeah. I was really excited to go back to the Philippines and join Miss Philippines or Bini Bini Filipinas. But the journey was tough. Mm. And that's the reason why I have really made a promise to educate the youth or even women that would want to follow my footsteps because I already went through the hard route. So here I am fast track fast tracking how you can be that prepared individual to pursue the same thing. And of course back in two thousand three there was uh no like you know, the, the Android phone, phones or even iPhones back then that I had the privilege of uh, staying connecting with my family. I moved and took that huge risk on going to the Philippines to pursue that dream. And I had no idea how the outcome will be or who I will meet. You know, I kind of just like went for it. And, and this is something for the youth that I always share is that maybe right now your life is comfortable. Maybe the person you're with, you feel like is someone that you're meant to be with. But sometimes if your gut or your heart is telling you, just try it, maybe that's a higher power telling you, you know, um, letting you choose to take that risk, sacrifice because it's for the greater good. And looking back, I don't regret anything, you know, even though it was hard for me to leave my comfort. You know, my parents, my brothers, you, you know, the, the, the circle that was so close to me. I had to pursue it. You know, I had to experience it. And now, so grateful. You know, the six months that I had to be here for residency, where I spent all my money on just calling overseas, crying to my mom, it was all worth it. You know, look, I have this man right next to me that was able to uh, share my experience or help him um, motivate him in what he, he can achieve. And then meeting my husband and just having the children that I have, like, I don't, I, I, there's nothing that I regret. You know, I wouldn't be the woman I am today if I didn't go through all that. And I go back again. Yes, I thank my life uh, journey through the pageant world because without that, I would not meet these individuals right here, you know? And look at it, it's full circle. I am still very close with my family in Australia. I am very close with you more than ever. And it's yeah. just, okay, I get it. You know, you yeah. just have to go through, um, they say like a, a rough road, but that road at the end of the tunnel is amazing, guys. You, yeah. you want to have conflict, you want to have challenges because that's the lesson. Mm. You know, that is what will inspire you to keep going. Yeah. So to there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love that. It's just um, you know, it's it's so true. Uh I think I've for me, you know, I was privileged to be able to see you on your journey. And um the thing about what makes you special, Mafe, is that you haven't forgotten your roots and you oh. haven't forgotten the journey that you've been on to get to where you are. And the amazing thing about you is that you pull people along the way with you. So you don't leave anybody behind. You no bring way. people along with you on the journey, and which makes it exciting because it's a learning for everybody around you. Right, Nico? Like you yourself. Like I think what, what, what has been something that you've kind of like you've learned from your mom along the way? I've uh, well, learned a lot of things. I mean, just what, okay, what's the, probably the most like the thing that kind of was like, wow, like I did not, you know, like the one that really stands out to you. The first thing well, that came to your head. I mean, it's uh, it's a bit of a long one, but I think, you know, I, you've known me ever since I was little and you knew that I, I was not always so open. I was super shy before. And so um, she kind of helped me get out of my shell and realize that um, I can, Talk. you know, I can be open, I can be who I want to be, and it's perfectly fine. And um, it doesn't matter if people have something to say about it, just be authentically and unapolog unapologetically you. Um, so that's what she's helped me with. I think that's the biggest thing. Well, and um, I guess that's one of the things that we all need to learn, right? No matter what age 
Um, I think sometimes we, as human beings, we, we sometimes have a, have a thing that hangs over us, no matter what age, you know, and, and the great thing is that Nico, at a young age, you're able to like learn these things already and apply it to yourself. I mean, we're not saying that you have to be like always, you know, be a hundred percent, but the fact that you've got these opportunities to, to continue doing that, it's just, um, you know, it's really wonderful. So, all right, both of you are based in the Philippines, right? And um, I want to ask you both, like for, Nico, we'll start with you. What's, what's the best thing that you could say or what's your most favorite thing that you love about living in the Philippines? I, I would say it's the people. Um, you know, Filipino people are always um, dubbed as super kind and super genuine. And I see that a lot. Um, comparing it to other cultures, yeah, there are some, there are a lot of differences, but I would say that we have like the nicest people here in the Philippines and it doesn't matter where you are. You can be um, like at a mall or you can be at a restaurant or be, even your family members, like everyone is so kind and extremely just, Genuine, I would say. So yeah, I think yeah. it's the people. Oh, I love it. Did you have you had any like experience, like a personal experience with somebody that you didn't know, and they and they showed like an act of kindness? Have you experienced something like that? Oh yes, lots. Um, I I before the pandemic, I was going to school, and um, I would take Ancas. So Ancas is like a, a motorcycle, um, yeah. Grab or Uber, and. Um, there were a lot, there's one person who would just talk to me the whole time, even though we couldn't hear each other fully because we were wearing helmets. Um, and he shared his life story with me and I learned a lot about him. And the funny thing was, um, I think it was a couple days later, he actually, I booked him again and he remembered me. We were like friends for a bit. But um, I think just even, you know, despite us wearing helmets and being um, on the road, like super fast on a motorcycle, just hearing his, his um, stories and everything, talking to him. Uh, it was really nice. It was a great way to start my morning. And that's something yeah. that I Oh, I love it because, um, you know, sometimes it just, that's all it takes, right? Like when you show people that you care and also just stopping to listen. Um, and I just love that. That is so cool. Thank you for that. And what about you, Mafe? What's your favorite thing about, you know, the Philippines? Well, apart from the food, <laughs> Same with Nico, with the family. Uh, my parents would always come visit, um, you know, twice a year or even like every every year. So it's always nice to travel to the provinces, visit, you know, the beaches. Uh, just getting away from the city, uh, just getting that fresh air. For me, you know, just there's so many opportunities here in the Philippines. It's really for you to grab. You know, whether it be work, whether it be to, you know, get to know other provinces or dialects, um, food is always something that unites Filipinos. Sure. And no matter where you are in the world, if you have, you know, your chicken adobo or chicken tonola or even lechon, you know, it's a big <laughs> celebration, yeah. right? So for me, here in the Philippines, it's always a celebration. You know, just seeing how um, families just bond together and just are content even though they do not have enough you know much money or uh means they're still happy like you ride yeah. around and just travel for let's say like going to the mall and back and you see people on the street and they're just hanging out yeah regardless if they have a piece of bread mm -hmm. or maybe rice they're like it's all right i'm happy yeah and that's what makes me the, I guess it, for me, it's like the decision of coming back really made me again um, a stronger woman, a stronger person, just seeing how resilient Filipinos are. You know, yeah. no matter where we are in the world, we survive or we even gravitate to each other, right? Yeah. And that's <laughs> why my Filipino pride was so strong because I just saw it there in Australia. And coming back to the Philippines, seeing how they are too, it's like, I love my culture. You know, I yeah. love it. You know, yes. and even more like just wearing that Philippine sash, grabe you know, like it was just until this day. Like even if I didn't bring home the crown for the Philippines, it was just such a privilege, such an honor. You know, and 
and that's why whenever I see passion in other women's eyes who want to do the same thing, I always tell them, what is your why? Is it for you? If it's for you, it's not a big why. Mm. You have to really dig deep on what you're going to do with that fashion crown. Because it's not just about when your crown is placed on your head. It's what are you going to do a year from then, five yeah. years from then, you know, 10 years from then, when you become a Lola, what are you going to still do? Because mm. it's about, you know, the, the giving back is uh, it's your whole life. Yeah. It's not when, oh, you're the winner. You know, we love you. No. Mm. It really has to be more than that. Yeah. And that's my biggest give back to, yeah. to people, like your mentors, especially my children. Hey, you always have your priority list of who you're going to help, whether it's your sibling, whether it's your extended family, or even a charity. Yeah. There's always something you're helping. Or what we love to do, I know Nico loves to do this, is we, get, we do speaking engagements for free, free bono. Yeah. We just love to share our, our experience. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I, I love that. And, you know, as you can see, everybody, these two are super, super passionate. And I just love, Mafe, you, you are absolutely correct. You know, uh, we as Filipinos, we really are resilient. And not just resilient, we have opportunities available to us. It is up to us to choose what we do with the opportunities and you're right when you know we always pat, pat and i always talk about this and we always say you know what what will be your contribution what will be the impact that you will make through your yeah. work through the things that you do and, it's, um, and that is such a powerful message and i really hope the viewers out there are listening and really you know um really letting this sink in because we all have opportunities every single one of us it is up to us on how we choose to use that platform or whatever it is but really at the end of the day even just with us smiling to other people like what nico yeah. advised us when you smile at others or be kind to others that too makes an impact which is you know absolutely amazing and that doesn't cost a thing to have exactly. a kind heart, to have a beautiful smile, to just be, you know, supportive towards your cup of Filipino, like that doesn't cost a thing. So, you know, everybody let's support each other and really stand by each other. And I just, I absolutely love that. And, you know, both of you, uh, you know, you were both pivotal in the changes that I was making with my business last year, particularly with my online shows and, of course, my hosting skills, um, you know, coming from the school of Marfe Velasco. Um, and, yes, you know, we can't deny the fact also that we've known each other for so quite some time, um, you know, Marfe through, from grade school, Deco, since, you know, since you were little, like, you know, I even saw you when you're in um, San Francisco with your parents and it's just, yeah, it's amazing. I, and to see you now, I'm just like, oh, well, wow. okay, my age, I'm, I'm so young. I'm still so young. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's also for you, Nico, you kind of go, oh my gosh, look at, look at my mom and friends and her friends and stuff, right? <laughs> oh, yes, God. Nico. And, <laughs> but anyway, you know, I am so proud and, you know, and so proud to really announce to everybody that the two of you are EVS, my, our EVS ambassadors, our very first EVS ambassadors, both um, you, Nico and Mafe. And so I really wanted you to share, you know, what made you say yes to being an EVS ambassador? Like, let's start with you, Mafe. Well, you know, one of uh, the first thing that I spoke to you about is education. You know, mm, domino truth. The sharing is caring. Um, you know, our toolkit. So when you asked or we, you know, aligned together, I said, Yona, it's a yes because I love your platform. I love the fact that you know, through online, we're still able to inspire others and help them fulfill their dreams on understanding what the international culture is about, especially our Australian, you know, background and uh, Australians uh, most especially on falling in love with Filipinos and our work ethic, you know, and, and that's something that I've always been passionate about. And I feel as though, you know, inspiring the youth you know and that goes for all of us uh, regardless what age you are you are young 
and always have a chance, an opportunity each and every day. If you wake up every day, you are able to open up your eyes, feel you know the the air or breathe or even see your loved ones that means you have an opportunity so you know empower virtual services is that and i am so proud to be an ambassador for for you and our fellow filipinos i love it thank you so much mafe oh my goodness and what about you nico what made you say yes to being an evs ambassador well, I believe, you know, um, in my actions and in all that I'm taking part in right now, the main goal is really to uplift other people and to make them feel welcome, loved, and like they have a purpose in life and that they should pursue it no matter what obstacles might stand in their way. And so um, to be an empowered person, like you said earlier, there's so many different factors to it. And I, I'm, I'm all about sharing that, like shedding light on things that people can do to be a better version of themselves or be more empowered than, uh, by themselves and to empower others and also to empower our, our culture, our Filipino people, our countrymen. I'm all about that. So I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to really elevate because there's so much potential and so much passion um, in our country and with our, our people. And I'm just so happy that we get to help elevate and really shed light on the talents and abilities of Filipino yes uh thank you nico and you know I, I should share with everybody that you are a um uh, uh an, out, an outcome or a product of online learning yourself so you really you know being able to t like to actually um gain knowledge from your own experience on how we could you know create these online platforms to be better so that people will be able to really learn, um, you know, in full. So, you know, guys, everybody out there watching our viewers, we are absolutely blessed and super thankful, grateful for you both for saying um, yes to being our EVS ambassadors. No words can describe how thankful I am. And, you know, I'm just, yeah, I'm just um, so excited that we're going to be on this journey together and I know Team Kaya and Team EVS is super excited as well um, and yeah we, it's just yeah watch out everybody there's going to be more to come in the future <laughs> all right well you know we're gonna um, wrap up soon I guess I know that we could be here and just keep talking and talking I guess you know um, my last couple of questions will be you know uh, for you Nico what would be like an advice that you would give to um or what what's uh, what's one advice that you've been given that has really been that has stuck with you um and, and why did it make an impact on your life i think one of the the most impactful advices that has been given to me is to really just trust in your abilities and play at your own strengths because i think especially um the younger people and I mean even older people we all struggle sometimes with comparing ourselves to other people and we focus there's there's a tendency of us to focus on other people and their strengths and how they how they can be doing better than us or how they're doing things uh, differently but when I really when I learned this I applied it in my own life and I saw the, the difference that it has and once I realized that I could focus on my own strengths um, play in my own strengths and really just elevate uh, myself with the support of my family and other people in my life, um, then I really can just become that better version of myself for others and just elevate every aspect of myself. And um, I think eliminating that whole, what's this person doing? How can I get better than that? The whole comparison thing that it opens up a whole world of opportunities and possibilities. And as long as you can just focus on bettering yourself, I think you can go anywhere that you want. Yes. Oh, that is that is so powerful, Nico. Yes, I absolutely agree. You know, really important for all of us to stay in, stay in our own lanes and not compare yeah. ourselves to others. And really, really, truly believing, not, not just saying it, but truly believing the whole notion of um, community over competition. We yeah. really truly have to believe that. Let's not just say it. Let, let's not just say, oh, we're going to support her, support him, or we really truly believe it that we 
are all about empowering our community because at the end of the day right it's like the herd mentality when we're all powerful or we're all empowered and we're all you know supporting each other how much that lifts all of us up it's not just one it's all of us which is so 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 important and i love that oh thank you nico what about you mafe what would be like what's been like one advice that has really stood out and why uh the biggest one maybe i've always had this instilled in me is you know just know your integrity like know the meaning of integrity um mm -hmm. being the same person no matter who's in front of you um at the same time when you're able to do that then you have that genuine reputation where people know oh yeah she's really like that you know instead of your one way to one person and then another way to the other person and then those people talk and they're like huh are you sure? Are you sure that's my thing? <laughs> yeah. You know, and I've had that experience. True story. Yeah. You know, you will meet people that will not respect your same aura or respect the same journey as you. And uh, you know, these people maybe perhaps they're jealous or they're they're just not content with their own lives. You know, they will they like to talk. And it gets back to you. And when these certain people validate you and say, Mafe, it's so funny they're saying that about you, but I know you. I just laughed. Yeah. To me, I just like, what you see is what you get. And I'm yeah. always going to do that. I mean, you're not. We've known each other for yeah. so long. I'm pretty sure you can see I'm still the same person. Oh and, my that's God. Who, and that's who I surround myself with. And that's yeah. how, what I also teach is that if mm -hmm. you're not accepted by, a person a community because you're being yourself then maybe it's not the right community for you yeah you know you just have to keep elevating like what nico is saying be yourself be in your lane and you know there's one thing that i actually um live by ever since i was in australia is you know the motto that i have is time plus productivity equals success you know as simple as brushing your teeth if you don't put in the time and then you don't put in the the you know the energy and brushing your teeth when you have a job interview or even talking to someone face to face they're going to be like turned off because oh my goodness maybe your teeth are look white enough and also the smell so it goes with life i mean i'm going to put it in a funny way yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody will understand like when you put time and effort into what you're passionate about and yeah. you take the action like what i said actions speak louder than words then you will always be successful yeah. you know and it could be small wins that will lead to bigger wins, but at yeah. least you put in the effort. Yeah. And that's my biggest, you know, um, take home for myself and what I also share to everyone. And I hope everyone here, I mean, as simple as Jonah was sharing er earlier, and this is something I actually do. I, I, mean, I think, I don't think I remember this, but I challenge myself on how many people I actually make smile each day. Oh, I love it. I love it. And that's just within me. And I think I tell Nika that Nika do it, you know, it's fun. <laughs> you know? And not only will you feel good, you're making someone else feel the same. Yes. And the most important thing is sometimes, you know, here, yes, we have so many kind people, but there's also a lot of, you know, people that have like such a blockage, like the face is just like so blank, right? Yeah. So those yeah. people are painful, like you're walking past them, just like, hi, how are you? And they have yeah. no choice. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> 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 But I think everyone tuned in. How many can you make smile yeah. today? Yeah, That's a so simple. Fact. You know, you're not oh, putting. It's, it's not expensive. You know, you don't have to really put so much effort into it. It's just that domino effect. And oh. you know, you had earlier the conversation that you would have with with Pat. What is your legacy? What are you trying to leave? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I just, I absolutely love it. I mean, there were so many things that I just captured from that. Oh my gosh. Nika, I can just imagine you and your mom and you'd be like writing things down. Like, oh my God, I have to take a bit of that. But you know, oh, yeah. things again? we're together like this. I think I'm, I know. I know. I, I, I feel like whenever I talk to either one of you, I know that the other one is there. So I can pretty much yell out, oh, hey, hi, because I know who the other one. But no, it's so true. Um, integrity, 
uh, time and productivity equals success. Um, you know, community like being um, just giving people a smile goes a long way. This free smile that we have. Uh, where we also brush our teeth, um, you know, it gives others a smile yeah. and it doesn't cost us a thing. And But to that person, it actually makes their heart sing. It really does. Like, I mean, you know, as much as people may not say anything back, but they'll be like, oh, wow, it actually yeah. makes an impact. Which is really, you know, that's what we do. And it's, it's, it's one of the things that we all should do in terms of making a positive impact to others. Not the, uh, we're always looking at ways in which, we are trying to um, uplift others, you know. And, um, e and even though on those days where we may not be feeling, you know, our best self, we should still be mindful of the things that we do um, to other people. Oh, you guys, it's just so amazing. And I should start to wrap this up now. <laughs> because <laughs> we've been almost one hour. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. Um, I guess... You know, we've said so many things in terms of, you know, how we can empower others. I just absolutely love that. Now, um, what is, okay, I, I'm going to just ask it anyway. Um, for, what do you think EVS and with the two of you now on board, how do you think we can collectively, all of us, empower others? Well, I can start. Um, we have so many different communities that we are leaders of, you know, yeah. and I feel as though um, being a leader is a team player and uniting those communities together where will allow them to understand that, hey, I can learn from this person. I can learn yeah. from that other person. And just having the benefit of online technology allows us to even um, reach a bigger audience. So for the Philippines who are tuned in all over the world, Yona, Nico, and I are here now to empower you guys and to unite you with your fellow Filipino, whether it be for um, your family, personal life, lifestyle, career. We uh, will generally try to empower you and inspire you. Of course, yeah. I can say that I'm not an expert. I still have a lot of learnings to learn. But from my own life journey, I know that I can teach you with what I have faced. Mm -hmm. And perhaps I can speak on behalf of Yona and Nico too. I know that, you know, there's so many different communities out there. Um, just yesterday, I was speaking to another bonus mom. And if you don't know what that means, I am a proud bonus mom to Nico and Mike. And uh, look it up, guys, because it is a positive word compared yeah. to the description and that's the reason why I, I am even more inspired to help moms help women understand that they are they are accepted you know you're accepted no matter what it's the number one thing is self-love right Anna if when yes. you take care of yourself then you're able to take care of others and 100%. Uh, having the the support group that I have empowers me to trickle it down to the other communities that I want to help or want to reach out to. <sighs> amazing, amazing. What about you, Nico? Well, I, just to add to what was said already, I think, you know, the three of us here are empowered Filipinos and we're all about, you know, helping other people become empowered too and realize that they are actually empowered. And so yeah. I think that EBS can help play a huge role in um, elevating, uplifting, and giving the right tools that are needed to become mm -hmm. the best version um, that anyone can be. And so um, even if you're not familiar with what UVS does, you can reach out or you can follow the social media that's being flashed at the bottom and really look into it. Um, if, it's, if you're not too familiar with what, um, what happens or what goes on, try something new. I mean, I feel like life is all about trying stuff and I was talking to somebody the other day on my podcast and you were mentioning that before you can really elevate yourself or get to reach that goal that you want, you have to start somewhere. And so yes. what better place to start than with people who believe in you, people who will uplift you and help you reach that goal of yours because that's what life is all about, really finding that support group and riding the, the wave of support, positivity and help that you can because that will help you get wherever you want. 
I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at look at my face smiling, smiling so wide. Such a proud mom. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> well, you know, it's, this is also an important message, right? If we don't know, if the three of us don't know, I'm pretty sure collectively we'll be able to at least know somebody who will know. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, it's important for um, to people just to reach out if there's if they have any questions or anything like that. Now, if you could share with us, um, you know, how people can reach you on your own personal profiles. Mm -hmm. So I am on social media, all platforms, Mafia Yuna Belasco or at Mafe B and you know my line is always open um, you know I try you know Yona is also my mentor in delegation and taking rest but I feel as though uh, there's so many things that we are so happy about that I know that that is my way of giving back to just a simple answer if somebody reaches out to me so please uh, do to send me a message if you need an extra push in your goals you know i have it there i'm your number one motivator cheerleader of your life <laughs> that is something that i am proud to maybe the proudest title to have in my life yeah. um apart and that goes for everyone i mean with that title i can be initiated for my my family uh my friends my team you know i, I really appreciate everyone who is alongside me enjoying this journey of life because you know when you open your eyes and just see everything around you it's as simple as even having a glass of water in front of you not everybody can have that privilege mm -hmm. so enjoy what you have and know that you have now the support group of empowered virtual services here assistance and we will be more than happy to uh, give you our words of wisdom or inspiration that will help you get through the day love it thank you and nico how do we catch you where do we find you um you can find me on instagram facebook twitter linkedin and um all the other <laughs> social media uh, <laughs> platforms at nico belasco and you can follow my work uh, my photography pages are nico belasco photography on instagram and facebook and then you can also check out my podcast um, on instagram and facebook the Julia project then you can find it also on spotify and apple podcasts Goodness, wow. For a young man, you have already achieved so much and it's so inspiring. It really inspires me to keep going and to keep learning and to keep sharing um, your 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 journey because it, it is inspiring to others. But thank you both so much for, for being my guests um, today. And, you know, I'm just so excited that I was able to share the good news with everybody. Um, you know, I hope that our viewers, um, you know, all enjoyed it and we've, we have a lot of people watching and, you know, uh, here Anna, Anna says, you know, best wishes to all of you. It's quite humbling to hear how passionate you all are in spreading goodness. So thank you, Anna. Um, and Christine, my <laughs> Ariad, Nelly, with Manel, uh, you know, we've got everybody watching. And um, so thank you everybody for um, watching us today and, you know, spreading the good news. Feel free to share this show even on replay. Um, but again, thank you, um, Mafe and Nico, for joining me today. And, um, you know, I really, I look forward to what's to come and what we will be, um, you know, doing together. And um, I guess to everybody um, on Facebook Live um, and Kuru viewers, thank you also. Um, did you have, did you want to say anything before you left, before you leave? No, go ahead, Yona. I think we've said, <laughs> shared so <laughs> It's like 59 minutes already. So thank you everybody to our Facebook Live and Kumu viewers. We, we're, um, you know, we're hoping that we're able to make a difference and I hope you were able to learn um, a thing or two today on today's episode. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa support ng binibigay ninyo sa amin sa buong community of EVS and I really am thankful um, again for Mafe and Nico for being such wonderful guests and for being proud EVS ambassadors and we are proud and um, and we want to make sure that we are able to continue to empower and promote the amazing Filipinos as well as the amazing country that Philippines is and thank you everybody for watching bye for now